Hi everybody, we're so glad you're here with us tonight learning about how to eliminate toxins from your home. I'm gonna be showing you how to make homemade hand soap, foaming hand soap to be specific. So I'm gonna be using a 12 ounce glass container. The reason I'm using glass is because I'm gonna be using Thieves Blend Essential Oil, which is right here. And Thieves does contain lemon oil in it, which is a citrus oil. So whenever you're using citrus oils, it's a great idea to use glass because citrus oils do eat through plastic. They eat petrochemicals, which are really bad for us anyway. So glass, this is again, 12 ounces. We're also gonna be using some cast aisle soap. I used, I used Dr. Bronner's. And this is from Amazon and you can also get it from Costco, I believe in bulk, if you're gonna be doing this pretty often, it's always good. And then I'm also gonna be using some vitamin E oil. This one's from Trader Joe's, as you can see, but you can get this on Amazon as well. You can also use fractionated coconut oil, just something that's gonna be a little bit moisturizing. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna take the top off and we're gonna start with three tablespoons of cast aisle soap. So here we go. There's one, two, and three. Okay, now we're gonna do about a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. You can really just eyeball this. You can really eyeball most of this, but just to be precise for y'all, I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of the vitamin E oil right in there. And for a 12 ounce container, I like to do about 10 drops of essential oils. You don't have to use Thieves. I like to use Thieves because it really gets rid of all the yucky stuff, however way you use it. Some people like to use lavender. Um, you can use a combo of lavender and lemon. You can add all of them together if that's what you like. So for a 12 ounce container, I would say about 10 drops is good. You can do anywhere between, I don't know, seven and 12 drops, but you can always add more if you want um, more of the smell later on. So you can play with it. So let's do 10. And that's 10. Okay. And I'm just gonna swish it around for a second. This is what we have so far. And then all you have to do is top it off with some water. Some people like to use distilled water. I'm okay with using some filtered water straight from the fridge. That's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna fill it up slowly because it will bubble a little bit. So here we go. Here we go. It's already bubbling up. Almost there and I don't go all the way to the top because once you put your cap on it might kind of overflow a little bit so gently put your cap on and screw it on and give it like a little shake and there you have it homemade hand soap 